Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I need coffee. Yeah, there's some of this. No, no, they're still good. You realize that 400,000 businesses open up every year? 480,000 go out of business every year? 400,000 open up and 480,000 go... Yep, yep, that was the latest report. I don't think I woke up saying I'm going to sell companies, you know. Um, I used to work at Xerox and I was in high volume sales and my nickname at Xerox was The Closer because when somebody couldn't close a deal, who would they call? Me. I worked at Xerox for about six months and then they asked me to interview for a regional position overseeing about 80 to 100 people. And they told me, you're not gonna get the job, there's no way you're going to get it, but I think you should do it for the experience. Never thinking I was going to get it. And I got it, out of everybody. Yeah. But then, they all hated me. So I had to manage these people. I was working with them. I've been there six months. Now I'm their boss. So I found myself not doing what I like anymore. So then I said, well, I'm gonna you know, look into business ownership. I'm gonna look at getting a business. Yeah. So I started investigating some different businesses. I approached them about buying one of their franchises. And, and I was going to keep you know, my six-figure position at Xerox yeah. with my great benefits and buy a franchise yeah. and just hire people, right? Yeah. So I went and met with them, started talking to them, and they said, you know, they're like, Michelle, we don't want you to buy a franchise. We want you to come partner with us. And I said, okay, let me think about it. So I came back to them, I said, here's what I'll do. I'm gonna keep my day job. I'll work with you nights and weekends. I'll go to trade shows with you. I'll do all this, I'll see how it goes. And see if we like each other, see if it's a good fit, yeah. see if I can make money. So then, of course, I went back to Xerox, gave my notice, well then everybody hated me more because I beat them out of the job and now I'm leaving. I mean, yeah. <laughs> so they did everything to try to get me to stay, they threw me a going away party. So then I went into franchise sales, franchise development, franchise consulting, and I loved it, but I was stuck in the middle because I'm a partner and an area developer and the franchisor was over promising and under delivering. Yeah. Franchisees are getting all upset yeah. and I'm in the middle. So I'm taking it for the franchisees yeah. because they're my clients and they put yeah. their money yeah. into this business and the franchisor is getting mad at me because I'm sticking up for them. So anyway, it got to a point where I just couldn't take it anymore. I sold hundreds of franchises and I finally said, listen, buy me out. You're gonna have to buy me out. So then I'm like, what am I gonna do next? So then I started selling franchises, but then I looked at my husband's business and I go, what are you lacking in your business? Yeah. And he was taking mostly major medical, things like that. And I said, what if I grow this for you? I took him from 20 a month to averaging over 100. Uh -huh. And now we have 10 clinics that we market for. And you just started one, right? I started with one, uh, yeah. Cool. I remember walking in the biggest firm in the state of Louisiana asking them if I could have their business. And I said, how many locations do you have? And I said, I have one. They said, come back to us when you have more. I said, uh-uh, let's start somewhere. I have one, come and see it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But then I got bored, I get bored very easily. Yeah. And then I said, I'm just gonna start selling companies. So I started selling companies. So I started my business brokering practice. Then I said, I'm gonna start doing large deals. So I'm gonna transition to mergers and acquisitions. Mm -hmm. Then I said, eight out of 10 businesses don't sell, shit. I gotta fix them because if I don't fix them, I'm gonna starve to death. Yeah, yeah. Because eight out of 10 don't sell. So then I went into my build to sell model. So I have the two models, sell now or build to sell for your desired sales price. These people work for very little money, so we always gotta tip them, right? Thank you.
Tabitha. Is it strong enough? Okay. Yeah, it's kind of strong. Oh, good. Oh, good. Did the six piece help? Yeah. Here's my card. Are you going to be able to get some? Okay. Good. Because I'm giving away cards. Okay. God gives us all gifts. We all have special gifts. Some more than others. And I think at the end of the day, it's your fiduciary duty to use your gift to empower and help others. And my advice to you, regardless of industry, because it's not about the industry, it's about who you are as a person, is number one, have the best work ethic of anybody else, because you will go very far if you do, because we need millennials, we have to have millennials in what we do.